besties, how are you? In today's video, I want to share with you how to create a beautiful rose arrangement out of Dollar Tree roses. I want to show you that you don't have to spend a fortune to create something beautiful, a nice arrangement for your home, next party, or someone special. Let's do it! First, I am going to show you real quick how to make a realistic looking bouquet out of silk roses. I got these beautiful long stem roses at a Dollar Tree. I also got there the tallest vase that they have. It's this cylinder vase. Uh, just for comparison, it is taller than the standard one they normally have. And my trick is to use the real greenery, whatever you can find on the outside. I have these leaves of the Lenten Rose. It could be a bush or branches, anything green will do. And what you do, you put the leaves all around the vase and create a beautiful backdrop for your roses. Just adding a few more leaves in the middle. Next, we have to trim the roses. And the rule is about one and a half times the height of the vase. There are actually little notches on these stems. So and on the first one, I cut off like three segments. The second one, I think I cut off like two. So you see one is taller and one uh, shorter. And the third one, we're gonna make the shortest, cut off like four segments. As you can see, each rose is a different height. I put the tallest rose in the middle and then one on each side. And then I add a few more leaves to support these roses. Notice I put them under the flowers, not covering any flowers. And what do you say? Can you ever tell these are not real roses? Let me tell you, there's no way you can tell. I actually gave these to my sister last year for Mother's Day, and she had these in her house for a week. She had no idea they weren't real. <laughs> And the funny thing is that she found out from Facebook when I made a comment about them. What do you want, Coco? What do you want? A treat, huh? <laughs> if you like, you can also add a bow to your arrangement. I have some leftover ribbon and I cut three pieces of 24 inches long. And this will be a quick little bestie bow. All you do is measure five inch loops, pinch it, Hold it with your thumb. Normally I use uh, at least four loops, but this is leftover, that's all I have. <laughs> so you have three loops, five inches, you tie them with a floral wire, and then you just fluff them up and have an adorable little bow. <laughs> And I simply use that wire from the back to tie it down to one of the leaves. And you can pick a spot under or in the middle of your arrangement, whatever works. And there you go. Beautiful rose bouquet with a bestie bow. Total cost under $5. <laughs> can you imagine that? How much would you have to spend at a florist shop, especially on Valentine's Day? So this is a great solution, especially that you can make it ahead of time and it will stay beautiful like that for a long time. <laughs> my next centerpiece idea comes requested by my friend will on the budget will makes so many amazing things out of nothing you gotta check out his channel if you haven't seen it yet so will writes to me that he's got an order for a wedding valentine centerpiece and he's looking for ideas i'm so excited to help him out so my first idea will be with the birdcage that I got on sale at the Rite Aid Pharmacy. I spray painted it silver. 
We also gonna need two little lovebirds for our cage. I got this on sale at the Dollar Tree after Christmas. They were only 50 cents each. And then we need flowers to decorate our cage. I got these beautiful velvet roses at a Dollar Tree, three for a dollar, beautiful quality. And then they have uh, other um, types of roses. Um, I got them all in my cream color, as you can see a little bit shade of yellow in the middle. So you get all different sizes. And this beauty I found in a store called Dollar Zone beautiful rose for one dollar i wish they had more it was the last one that i found it's also good to have some kind of dripping flower like this one from dollar tree something cute to decorate our cage and of course greenery fern or leaves whatever you can find this is uh, all from dollar tree uh, this amaryllis flower i always talk to you about it because it has a great quality greenery at the bottom in addition, we're gonna need floral foam and a candle that you can also find at a Dollar Tree. First, we are going to measure the floral foam and cut it to size and glue it inside the cage. Next, we're gonna place our candle there in the middle. We're not gonna glue it because sometimes we have to pick it up to turn it on. And we're gonna cut all our greenery to pieces. Next, we start inserting the fern and we start off with the longer pieces. We put um, the longer pieces on both sides, on the left and on the right, just like so. If you like, you can also glue these in, but they stay in very well. Uh, as you can see, I'm inserting now a couple more pieces uh, diagonally in the front and in the back on the opposite corner. And then I insert some shorter pieces of fern uh, to the back and front. So as you can see, I had extended the arrangement to the left and right but uh, front and back I like to keep uh, more narrow so it doesn't take as much space on the table. Here you can see exactly what I did. Now let's cut some of that beautiful greenery from the amaryllis flower. I'm actually going to pull the flowers off. I don't think we need it here, uh, but uh, it's up to you what you like to do. While at it, I also cut the roses. What just happened? We start off with adding the focal point, and this is my most beautiful rose. I'm going to put it in the front at a slight angle to the left and the second rose in the opposite corner. Now let's add a red one on the left. The stem is a little bit longer. And you pull some of these leaves through the cage to the inside to cover that green foam. And we mirror the same thing in the opposite corner. Next, we're going to add some of those dripping flowers. We choose the ones that are bent the right way towards the cage. And we're not going to make them drip. We're actually going to make them stand up. Put them in the foam there. And we continue adding more roses. On the inside of the cage as well, uh, we're gonna put flowers all around the candle to cover the green foam.
And now we're gonna add the remaining dripping flowers on the side over here. And now we're gonna use the greenery from the white flowers to fill in all the empty spaces. Oh, I gotta fix this up a little bit because I open up the cage. And I still could use a couple more flowers, so I'm gonna cut those small roses. I could use even a longer stem over here so it comes out more from underneath the bigger rose. Aren't these velvet roses beautiful? You can open up them even more to make them look like garden roses. Look at these beauties. You give them a little bit love and they come to life. There's no way anybody can tell they came from a dollar store. Can you? I mentioned in the beginning, I would like to add uh, two lovebirds to my cage. So I'm gonna use that decorative branch that I have from Christmas, and I'm just gonna clip on the birds facing each other, just like that. So I'm gonna feed the branch through the top of my cage, just like so, clip the birds there, I guess you gotta play with the placement a little bit. And I gotta warn you, I'm gonna be crushing those little tails. <laughs> but don't worry, I fixed them up in a minute. Just have to cut the stick. Here they are. You see, they're happy, they're together. They're gonna live happily ever after. <laughs> What do you think? Do you like it? I think it would make a beautiful wedding table centerpiece. Also, it's a great centerpiece for your home for Valentine's Day. Or uh, you can change up the flowers and have a great uh, spring centerpiece or even through the summer. Possibilities are endless. And look at my helper. She is not much help today. And if you want to free up your birds, you can place them on the outside as well. Here is a, another idea. Why don't you comment down below and let me know which option do you like better? I have one more idea for you. It's gonna be a candelabra centerpiece, perfect for a wedding, first communion, bridal shower, 
or even a nice dinner party at your home. You're gonna need a candle plate, a margarita glass, and a taper candle. All of these things you can find at a Dollar Tree. And we're gonna need flowers. I have two bushels of white roses here and one bushel of wisteria and some greenery. I have no more Dollar Tree greenery, but this eucalyptus from Walmart for $2 is a great value. And a piece of floral foam. This is actually what we cut off from the previous centerpiece. We're gonna put our centerpiece together and it's so easy. The uh, candle plate comes with the three legs that fit perfectly inside the margarita glass. So we don't even have to glue it because it stays in nicely. We're just gonna glue in the foam block Cut the greenery and insert it all around it. I think four pieces, uh, one on each side, is sufficient for now. We will now cut the wisteria and insert one piece on each side as well. As I cut apart all my white roses, I realized I might not have enough. Luckily, I have one hydrangea that I uh, had from a previous project. I got it for a dollar at AC Moore. I'm gonna insert it at the top. I also need to add a candle in the middle. And uh, I think it's best to just push it in and then add a hydrangea around it. Uh, if you get your hydrangea at um, the Dollar Tree, you're gonna have uh, like a few separate pieces. So it will be easier to center a candle around there. Uh, mine is one, so it seems like a little bit um, candle, a little bit to the side, but I will straighten it out as I insert the roses all around there. It's gonna be just fine. So now I just um, add all the roses. How easy was that, guys? <laughs> now you just have to sh uh, make sure it's nice and even all around. You might wanna pull some roses out some more and others maybe push them in. And here I have some rose leaves that I just wanna add here and there. First, I just insert them to see how they look. And when I like the placement, I glue it in. At the end, just cut small pieces of greenery and insert it anywhere where the green foam might be showing.
I also have an idea for an empty glass down there. I got these crystals with the color changing tea light at a Dollar Tree. Simply pick up the plate, add the tea light, and cover with the crystals. And there we go, a beautiful centerpiece for under $10. Can you believe that? That looks such a high-end centerpiece. I don't know if it transmits on the video, but in person, it's a really gorgeous piece. I wish I knew how to make these when I was getting married. I guess I knew, I just didn't know I knew. <laughs> Look how cute, I love it. What's also great about this centerpiece is that it doesn't take up much table space. Everything is up above and you can fit your dishes underneath. All right, my besties, so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit like and consider subscribing to my channel so you could see more videos on a budget and of this adorable little face. <laughs> Take care guys, bye bye.